there's one thing that completely sucks about being human, it's getting sick. Getting the cold or flu can really put a damper in your day or your month or whatever. And I recently just got over the flu or it was bad cold, I don't know. But now I thought it was the perfect time for me to share my cleaning routine after I have been sick. One of my favorite things to do before I start to do any cleaning in the apartment is actually open some windows. That fresh air coming into the apartment can make the place feel a little bit cleaner and to remove some of that stale, sick person air from the place. The next thing I like to do when I'm cleaning up after I've been sick is run my clothes and my linens through the laundry and through the wash. I like to use the hottest setting I can possible to make sure I uh, kill all of those germies that were in my pajamas and my towels and things like that. Um, if you can't use super hot settings, just make sure you disinfect some other way, uh, usually some vinegar or some baking soda or hydrogen peroxide works really well. Now here's a little bit of an urban legend. You can't actually reinfect yourself uh, by using the same toothbrush head that you were using when you were sick, uh, but it's a good idea to clean the toothpaste tube that you were using when you're sick. And just, I just like to take the opportunity to clean the toothbrush head anyway. It just makes you feel better and it's a good reminder to do it after I'm sick. If you're like me, when you're sick, you use your devices a lot. I was playing The Sims, I was watching YouTube videos, so I wanted to take the opportunity to clean all of my electronic devices. I just have a little homemade disinfectant there. It's 50 parts, uh, 50 parts, it's 50-50 parts water, rubbing alcohol, and a little bit of tea tree oil to act as a disinfectant as well. I like to clean up everything I was using, including my mouse, and I also like to do the phone. Don't ever forget the phone. I actually disinfect my phone a few times a week just because it's everywhere and it gets really gross. So the phone, the keyboard, definitely necessary. I even like to disinfect my Apple AirPods. Not only because they were $160, but because they have also been in my hands and in my ears. Gross. Don't worry, I clean my ears too. Boy, was my kettle busy when I was sick. Not only was I boiling water for tea and boiling water for my neti pot, I was boiling water for another reason as well, and that is actually cleaning the tools that were keeping me sane. So I don't know about you guys, but I like to use a neti pot when I'm sick. This is a nasal irrigation system. System You put a little uh, warm distilled water in there with some salt, and you put it in your nostril, and it comes out the other nostril. It's really gross but it works anyway I use a little boiling water to pour over this ceramic neti pot to clean it up it has been directly in your nose so you want to make sure you get this nice and clean after you've been sick and after it's nice and clean I like to put it on a paper towel to dry One of the last things I like to do when I'm sick after I'm feeling better is to clean all of the points of contact. This means places that your hands and fingers that have probably touched your nose and have caught the germs as you coughed into your hand have touched. So this includes handles, locks, doorknobs, handles and things like that. Also light switches. Uh, don't forget the toilet handle or the toilet button as well. This again is my antibacterial disinfectant mix of 50-50% water, rubbing alcohol, and a little tea tree oil to give it a little germ killing boost. Anything you have touched in your house, you should go and disinfect. This includes handles of sinks and things like that. And also, you can't forget handles of the refrigerator and the dishwasher as well.
So that's it for my post cold and flu cleaning routine. I hope that this helped you prevent spreading the germs and preventing others in your household from getting the same cold that you might have suffered. I hope that you guys have a pet out there to take care of you when you're sick. And um, if you guys do anything different when you after, after you're sick, let me know. Let me know down in the comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.